stuff and then you put the graph. Okay. Okay, we must have been missing a little bit of the recording. Uh, it's okay. Okay, and uh, then you put on the groundwork for the potential partnership. So, like I said, do your groundwork, which is your research. And when it comes to NGOs, guys, like you know, certain non-governmental organizations, then you try to partner in uh, community-based uh, projects. So, for example, I'll give you a, a organization called Child Fund. So, I used to work there. Literally, all those uh, certain organizations like them, they have done all the groundwork, the ground research, everything. Just that they need partners to partner up with in certain areas. For example, now we are an organization, you know, scattered all, all around the island. We are in like uh, four or five zones and we have covered, we have covered up, I think, nine, uh, nine, eight to nine districts, if I'm not wrong. I'm, I'm not good with numbers, but I'm just saying. So they have hubs as well across all the country. So, for example, you all don't have to go all the way to Jaffna or you don't have to go all the way to Gaul. There are clubs you can, you know, cover within our district or within our province. We can do that, you know. Or maybe you don't have to do for the same, uh, you know, community every single year. That's continuous, that's sustainability, yes. But, you know, you can uh, go for a new problem every new year. Because, you know, there are, you, can, you cannot say there are no problems. There is enough and more problems you can find. Maybe you, we don't even know. So, these are kind of... Uh, partnership that I we can offer from our avenue to the clubs. So if you guys are not, you know, uh, having any partnerships that you need partnerships, then you can always approach us. We will direct you in terms of uh, these kind of organizations. There's enough and more organizations who are looking for partners. So we are happy to help you guys to, uh, you know, partnering you guys with these projects. So that's there. And apart from that, uh, clarifying the MOUs, the shared objectives and working partners in a partnership. Okay. So, this guys, we will share out a doc and how the MOU comes. Because, you know, there's a way more, there's way, way more lot of things, you know, when it comes an MOU rather than these four points. Because when we put it like a proper doc, then you guys are way more clear. And uh, the responsibilities of each party is. So, yeah, this is all about, you know, getting everything in writing. We'll share the doc in an email. No, Nina, we can do that rather than just, you know, explaining this because it will be a lot for us to talk about. And it's a lot to take for, for you all to take. So we will instead put these all in a doc. That way you all can take your time and read it. Can we have the next point? Next slide, guys. Okay. So, so far we have completed, uh, you know, the partnership with uh, Mrs. India. This was a youth partnership where we had over 100 volunteers for the last, uh, I mean, for, for those 11 days, uh, including, you know, Including twelve hours of each volunteer, each for each volunteer had to put in around twelve hours, and uh, that's there. And there's another potential uh, partnership that's coming. We'll announce that very soon within the next district meeting, or uh, we will put that in a me email. And as you all know, we have announced MA as a strategic partner for the year, and uh, which we have, which we, have, we will have the MA's open day in the coming months. And Hutch, as for all of you all know, where we had this partnership announced in the transition DCM. And you all have a spe special package for road tractors. And uh, this time we, uh, I mean, I had a meeting with them this week. And we are coming with a better package for all of you all. And uh, yeah, so those are the completed and the ongoing partnerships at the moment. And there's more coming on our way. So we will reveal them soon. Next slide. And I think that's it. We can move to the last slide. Yes. Any questions, guys? Any doubts? No doubt. Were we like super clear or we were not clear at all? Then I hope we won't have any questions in terms of MOUs or questions regarding, you know, the community based uh, partnerships. Take the silence as a no. If you guys want like a special. Session, sessions, we can arrange that as well, right, honey? Uh, I'll have to come through 
the OD Avenue yeah. organization development, and then we'll yes. There are 82. You can you know take off the 10 from the district. Apart from that, anyone else? No questions. Are smart, lah, my papa. Kisi. Come on, do you? Okay. Okay. Um, here, there's a question. Ashan. Okay, so Nina, shall I answer this, or you want to go for yeah, it? Yeah, you can go. Okay, so Ashan, this is the thing: a food stall in front of company, Masang. So this is something like a fundraising thing. So, for example, you don't have to take an MOU per se for that, Masang. It's way too formal for a food stall. So maybe it can be a formal letter, Masang. It can be an email, or you know. Okay, Bagya, can you uh, share the attendance link again? So yeah, so Ashan, coming back to you. So we don't have to sign an MOU for that much. It can be a formal email or a formal letter to that company or corporate. And uh, yeah, I hope that answers your question, Ashan. Anyone else? There are no silly questions, guys. Ask anything. We are okay to answer. One question you can ask, crazy people. Hand out. If you guys feel like you cannot switch on your mic and answer the question, I might have a doubt now. Yeah, I'll drop your questions to the chat. <laughs> there should be questions, right? And then private area, and I want to pull on Yeah, we will uh, share the like uh, anyway. Your presidents and secretaries have the directory, so anyway, we will share the directory again with an official email, uh, including the presentations, recordings, and everything. So. Okay. Right. My private question. Is, uh, See okay. now, they're <laughs> coming. Okay. Okay, my son. So yeah, so you know who you are, and okay, guys, I don't want you to play this to serious questions. Okay, fine. So the question here asked is uh, planning a profit-based offer, putting stalls like twenty-five percent to seventy-five percent. Yes. So if you have certain, uh, you know, uh. Offer, I mean, like certain uh, propositions like this, much and get this in writing, like an MOU. Uh, you don't have to go. Uh, you know, for example, let's say if it if it involves money, much and let's say uh, resources, better get these in writing. So exactly, when it come when it comes to profit share, like twenty five percent to seventy five, still it's money. If it includes even four digits, five digits, any amount of digits, as long as it's money, guys, get those things. Get get those in writing, because you know later on we don't want any misunderstandings or miscommunications, because it's end of the day both. You know, it's going to affect the uh, in your club, and it's also going to affecting the corporate. So that's bad repo. Try your level best when you get a partner. It can be a sponsor. Try to build that relationship in a long term basis, because you know you can send them, you know, Aurud wishes, Eid wishes. Keep them always on loop. This is what we are doing. So that way they feel also like you know connected. Send your project updates. This is what we have done. This is you know be okay. Let's say for example, you partner up with this partner. And uh, say okay, we want a project with our partnership. You know, share that achievement with them. That that way they feel you know uh, more privileged. Or uh, you give that extra effort for them. Give that, and you know, you can keep that partnership going on. So you don't have to worry about going for another partner next year. They will stay with you. That's one thing we should look for, uh, for this year. Your partnerships. Anyone else? You can still drop a private message. Uh, Hanik, actually, I got a message. Uh, I'll forward it to you. Sure. Hope you got the message. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes. 
So yeah, you want to know more about you know preparing an MOU and specific terms and what we should what you should include. Yes. So that uh, I don't want to mention your name. Fine. So my time that we have, what we are going to do is we will send out a proper doc on how you should get an MOU done, how you should prepare it, because you know always there's going to be adjustments in terms of the partner and you guys. So that be even we have we had it with MAs, you know. We, we, we might have to do a lot of changes in terms of, you know, percentages. It can be uh, objectives or it can be, uh, for example, uh, say the number of, uh, I mean, the, I mean the, even the period. Like they say, it can be six months, 10 months. So get all these in writing. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, points that you should include in MOU. So we will share a doc on how you should get this done, how the structure it is and how who should be involved and who should be... Uh, uh, is in a doc and we will share with share it with the council. So it will be like uh, more, more of a uh, how do you say like how you get PR guidelines. It will be something like that. And okay, I have the same. Yeah, and you will have to include the PR guidelines of a company also. Anyone else? You're open for more questions. Over to you, Bhagya. Yeah, okay. So thank you very much, Ninadi and Hani, for this insightful session. And thank you for the audience as well. So now we are going to take a group picture. So I kindly request all of you to switch on your cameras so that we can take the picture with all of you. Uh, we have shared the Hani. I think we got a message. I got it. Yeah. Oh, you but, got it. Uh, no, it's Station. for everyone. What yes. are the limitations if one party doesn't hold up MOU agreement? Limitations. Yeah. Nina, do you want to answer this? Implications. Okay. Implications. Uh, yeah, implications. He's asking the implications. Honey, if you can. Okay. That. Made in the. Okay. So this is you know, if there can be certain disagreements between you know between both parties, let's say uh, for example they can be expecting way more than what we or we can uh, asking way more than what the corporate is uh, you know offering. So those kind of implications, much always is there. So they can be more on our side, their side. So kind of you know just then, just it's all about you know uh, being. Uh, handling, handling it professionally guys so make sure you don't ask more don't for them don't uh, make them you know for you guys as well because i'm mean, with experience so when you uh how do you say <sighs> sorry when you give when you give, give more more room for the part rights of your project and it else because that's what you're losing. You're losing all your profit or we can even lose all your hard work. Make sure you stand your ground in terms of things very when you before you draft the MOU. This is what we want. This is what we can offer. Talk we talk all of you get the MOU. So it's also what the is Uh, uh, what do you call draft? Let's maybe uh, MOU uh, draft, or even they might have MOU drafted already. We give uh, what do you call structured MO, give you the doc. So when you share that, they might add in some things. So, Shan. Mainly, Shan, the community and make sure that you get what you 
want as well as what they want you so that you know they Uh, Hanif, so all the questions are solid and is it okay to if we conclude the session? Sure. Yeah, actually I got left from the meeting. Yeah, so guys, let's take the picture quickly. So I again request all of you to switch on your camera. Uh, it's okay if you don't have the background. Okay, uh, I'll start taking the picture. So there are three slides. So yeah. So thank you very much guys for participating in the session. Uh, and thank you Hanif and Ninadi. Yeah, so good night all, thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone.